haven't streamed off my PS3 for a while, so it's a bit of a new setup, really. Um, so, playing Dark Souls. Where we are, we last first time we played this, we just got to the Undead Parish. And so we are now going to be... Video seems good. Oh, I'm glad about that. So, we've got to fight the Belfry Gargoyles up at the top of this tower. And we've got some obstacles to overcome to get there. So we've got our lovely cleric. We are running a cleric knight um, build. So as we get better, we're going to... There we go. Luckily, we have invincibility frames as we go through those um, attacks, which is good. Let me turn up the volume a little bit. I want it to be a little bit louder in my ear. Um, ooh, Holy Soldier Shield. I know, right? Who, who needs a PS5 or anything else when you've got this level of quality? <laughs> so, previously when I've played Dark Souls, I've been quite a nervous player because, um, well, it's a game that's easy to feel, feel nervous to play because it's, uh, right, hello. Right, we're going to lure you out here because we are going to mess you up, in fact. Come on, then. There we go. You can't catch me. There we go. See? All you need to do sometimes is just run around them with a mace that you're holding with two hands. Right. Now, I think we get attacked from above as well. There's a channeler up at the top here. We'll grab that firekeeper soul, but up there. Yeah. Can you see him? That dude there? <laughs> you, oh, do you have a you've got yeah you've got a PS5 you only use it for Fortnite come on like have you, have you um I know I said I said I gave you um like Horizon Zero Dawn and all of those why are you not playing those he's gonna try and parry me but he's not gonna manage come on then Oh. Right, I'm gonna run down here and heal up. Oh, he healed up too. Sneaky man. Oh. Oh. Oh, he got me. There we go. Game over. That's it. That's the end of Dark Souls. I died. I don't think that big guy reappears, you know, I think now I've killed him, that's him done. So, the ones that do, every time you die, obviously, en all the enemies respawn. Um, it's okay, like, death is just a part of the game. And an important part of the game, because, you know, your ability to handle death really does dictate. Um, it's really part of the gameplay, because, you know, all of these creatures are hollow. Because they couldn't handle the constant death. And so they just eventually die. They eventually go hollow, where they lose their brains. And they are no longer really anything sentient. They're just hollow husks. But if you keep going, if you keep fighting, then you never go hollow. You know? That's how it works in this game. Right, there we go. There's my souls. Recover my souls. Recover my humanity. Oh, I need to... There we go. Oh, I've got a backstab on him. And yes, a backstab works when you've got a mace. <laughs> you just crack that back. Right, now, do we have... Now here, I remember you get a bunch of hollows that try to mess you up. Right, this guy's going to try and magic me. Can you see him there? Right, we're going to... Oh, run. We're just going to run past all of these guys and quickly run up here. That's how we do. And that is how you solve a problem. Right. There we go. Right, now, some of these guys will come up here. And I can deal with them here. I remember this bit. I've done this bit before. Go. All of them just come crawling up one at a time and I can deal with them. 
Is that how you do it? Oh yeah, look, if you just tap forward, you do a kick. That's quite nice. I've never been able to get that done perfectly. Right, and then they attack, bounce off the shield, and you smash them. Nice and easy, and under control. Right, now. What is over here? There's something over, was there someone over here? No? Oh, here we go. Got another, another boy trying his chances. Hello. Oh, we've got quite a lot. This is why you want to really... You really want to get them to group up on you. Because then... You don't look at them all just falling off the... Uh, you can. Right, there we go. So, now we've got the, just got the magic user in here to deal with. Oh, no we don't. Cheeky boy. There we go. Right, now we're here safe. We've got the magic user to deal with. Um, I'm going to just quickly heal. Using my magic instead, because that's for out of combat uses. And then we're going to see if we can... Oh, hello. He got distracted. And this is my chance to get him properly. No. Don't fall down there. Oh, it didn't kill him. He's going to walk back up to deal with me now. <laughs> oh, well. Right, now there is. Is there... Oh, hello. Need some space to deal with you. Right. There we go, just if I can get around him. Come on now. Oh. He's trying to cast magic, he's trying to parry me. Come on, come on. So when he pulls up his sword like that, if you try to attack him, he will parry you. See. Is he dead yet? No. There we go, now he is. Perfect. Oh, here comes the channeler. And he's casting more magics. I think that those magics... Oh, we'll grab that. Right. Okay, just going to hide in here and wait for him to... de -agra. Is he going to de -agra? No, it sounds like he's just going to keep attacking. Where is he? Okay, so he's just like... Oh, there he is. Oh my word! No! Oh, I didn't realise that he could do those kinds of moves. Oh, I feel sad now. Any more for any more? Right, so there's my souls. I would like to get those back if I can. Just creep along. And we will just grab this nice and subtly. Oh, he just dropped down. That's okay with me. Right. Now we come up here because there is someone up. Right, we really need to get out of here. Right, okay. There we go. Backstab him. Brilliant. Okay, he's down. Now we're going to run up here, because up here there is someone that we need to free, I believe. Oh, can't really see. I need a torch, really. Is this, is this the right place? I think this might be the right place. What's over here? to say. Try attacking. Oh, no, he's just dead. Okay. Oh, let's grab that. Humanity. Perfect. Right. So, we're gonna roll through this door. No, not that door. This door. Perfect. Amazing item. Okay, lots of doors there. I think up here there's someone who's imprisoned. Yes, here we go. Miscreant. So this is Lautrec of Kang. Oh, I'm gonna free him. Then I am in love. As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. 
guy. Thank you. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. Only later. That couldn't sound more menacing at all, could it? Right. Yes. I've... So, he will now help me with this next boss, which is great. Um, now, what's through here? Oh, no, I can't do it. There. Right, okay. So, that's all that dealt with. Now, can I reverse my hollowing without having to go to a... Oh, okay, well, I'm glad it's back now. Sorry, oh, sorry if it just went. Um, it's not good. I don't like it when it goes, obviously. Right. Where's that channel that just... What's he doing? Is he just chilling down there now? Okay. Now, can... Yeah, sounds like he is. The question is, is can I... Um, yeah, he's certainly trying to attack me from somewhere. Can I summon... Without... No, I need to be human, don't I, for this one? Okie dokie. Um, let's just see what happens if I... Humanity... Toggle display... No, I don't think I can until... So I need to... I think I literally need to go to a bonfire to... Re but then that will respawn all of the enemies. So, um, let's just give this a go. We're going to tackle... Belfry Gargoyles by ourselves. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. So, first we have one that we have to fight. And we're going to try and cut off his tail. And then a second one comes to join in the fight as well. We're going to dodge, duck, dip, dive and dodge. Let's see if we can get through this in one piece. And if we can't, it's not the end of the world. I got that axe in one go. Okay. We are messing you up, aren't we? <laughs> come on, come on. Go. Oh boy, that's bad. What the? Okay, this is another one. Come on, get up, get up. Oh. Right, okay. Right. Okay, we're gonna run up behind you. Oh! Right, we're doing this. This is alright. And then we just gotta smack you. Yes! Take that! Oh! We mopped the floor with that, and That is the first. I've never killed them that quickly before. Oh! That feels good. Oh man. That feels really good. I've never done that before. That's uh, like that quickly. See, my Bloodborne confidence skills are paying off. Like, I needed to cut off this tail and I smashed it off in one. Um, you know, don't lock on. Locking on is a mistake with these big bosses. Like, locking on with individual enemies is very helpful because um, it stops you from getting thing. Oh, yeah, the chat is a bit delayed. Like, I, it's just the way that it works. I've set it into low latency mode, um, but it doesn't really stop it from being slow. So, that was the barrier between us and ringing this bell of awakening. So, we're going to ring that, which is at the top here. Oh man, I'm just happy about that. I nailed the Guelphry Gargoyles first time. <laughs> I did it. I think I need an or a soapstone to actually rate that. I can't 
try jumping. No, we won't try jumping. We're going to come up here nice and carefully. We're going to climb up to the top. Oh, man, I am just pumped. Oh, what do you think of uh, little Terry, my baby T-Rex? Got them at the Natural History Museum. <laughs> New little mascot for the stream. Here we go. You can see on the side there, that's, um, so, oh, can we still see it from here? Right, so, over, can't really, hang on. Okay, so that there is Sen's Fortress. So that's the area, once we bring both Bells of Awakening, we can go to Sen's Fortress. And then Gargoyles will take us from the top of there to fly us over the hill, over the castle there, into Anor Londo, the Realm of the Gods. Um... So that's where we will go. But right now, we are needing to make our way back down. So I think down here, there should now be, um, I think his name's Oswald of Karen. Yes, here we go. He likes to T-pose for a sign of strength. I am Oswald of Karen, the part, and thou art a friend. For thee, a war cometh out to confess. All sin is my domain. Okay, so let's learn that gesture. Okay. Um, let's uh, abandon covenant. We don't need to be part of that now. So we will abandon the covenant for free. So we're part of the way of the white, but we don't need to be part of that now. Um, what can we purchase from you? Purging stones, indictments, um, karmic justice, that'll be a good thing to buy. Velka's talisman, I don't know if we need that at all. Um, but karmic justice will be one to buy when we can afford it. Thou art welcome any time. Thou art welcome any time. <laughs> it is only human to commit a sin. Yip, 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 yip. Weirdo. Such a weirdo. <laughs> right. So, we're gonna... Let's have a look. Um, cause... Oh, can you hear that bell? That means another player in the world, another player in the game has, like, somewhere in the world has just rung that bell, um, which is quite cool. Um, okay, so those those souls, I don't know quite how many souls it will give me. Um, I need 20,000 souls to get the crest of Artorias, but then it might just be worth me spending it on upgrading my weapons. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. Right, down we slide. Now we're going to have to deal with the magic man, which is a pain, because he will be somewhere down here. Right, where is it? Is he? Oh, there he is. He's walking back. Okay. Well, I think if he just stays there, then we could just leave him alone. Because, yeah, he's just... Oh, Dark Souls is all about its multiverse and convoluted timelines. Oh boy, is it about that. It's, um... There you go. There's the ghost of another player who just ran past me. Off to face the Belfry Gargoyles. It's all about, like, Dark Souls. Like, the way that you summon people to help you in-game. Um, it, it is all talked about in terms of it being, um... In fact, let's just go and upgrade our stuff. We'll run down here and upgrade our weapons before we uh, go back. Um, it's all about like time being convoluted. And it's quite an interesting thing. So the lore of Dark Souls is all about you know the disparity between light and dark. And you're here to light the f first flame to keep an age of fire going. Um, to prevent the age of dark. And I'm pretty sure that in this game, um, like time is connected to light. So as the light, fa light fades, time becomes weird. And that's why you're able to connect with people from different timelines. So if you summon but die helping someone else, you just end up going back to your world and they end up without a, someone to help. And if that you're someone who's really rubbish, then 
So when you summon someone, it boosts the HP of bosses to make up well, for the I fact that you've got you two people. Need. But if they are rubbish, then unfortunately, what you end up with is um, dead weight. <laughs> it happens. You summon someone and then they die straight away. And then you're like, great, I'm now soloing a much stronger boss than if they had just not tried. Um, literally a few a few more souls. Don't get, so. Don't get yourself killed. No one wants to see you turn hollow. Right. Oh. Hello. You are just an illusion of another player. <laughs> right, so we'll... There we go. We can finish that. And then we're just going to kill some hollows up here to get our... Um, to get level up enough that we can... Um, sorry, to get enough souls just to finish reinforcing that. But we can probably reinforce it at at the next bonfire, so we're gonna, because we're gonna head back to Firelink Shrine, and that's the starting hub. So we're gonna just sneak around here. There we go. That right there was what you call a parry. So practicing parries is really important in the game. Um, if you can nail the parry. Oh, like I did right there, and you'll go far. Unfortunately, I failed at it. Sucker! There we go. Right, heal up, and now... We're gonna head on back. Fire Link Shrine. There we go. Nice and easy. Who says Dark Souls is hard? <laughs> uh, had more issue with the um, with the regular enemies than I did with that boss. You know. <laughs> oh, but it feels so good. It feels really good. Right here we go. So, Fire Link Shrine. Let's go, let's go. So now... Is that the first Bell of Awakening? No, we still need to bring one more Bell of Awakening. Um, so, we're gonna pop over here. We're going to save there. Look, look at me, I'm such a weird mismatch of things right now. Right, and we can talk to our friend here. Hello. Hi, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to make it. Oh, somebody rang the bell. Wait, was it you? Was it you? You never give up, do you? I don't know how you do it. Well, Shh. don't stop now. Only one more. But it's going to be suicide. <laughs> it's going to be suicide. <laughs> right, so, we now need to go to the depths. Um, now the depths involve us going this way so this is going to be fairly all right right now because we're just going to be dealing with the enemies that we don't want right at the beginning of the game which can't really do much to us right now i mean they can still end us but they're pretty simple see just like one hit kills nothing to worry about really right i'm going to get this guy with the axe come running in here we go Stand up, stand up. There we go. And then we're going to get the guy from the stairs come down for us. Everyone wants a piece of us. Oh. Oh, block that. But I'm faster. <laughs> okay, so now we need to run back through the undead settlement. Kill this thing. There we go. And we need to run through the settlement till we get to the depths. So we're gonna come back up here. Okay. 
Okay, and then these guys are going to attack us. Alright, so now this person. Run forward like that. Oh, usually that should trigger. Because right, then there's another person who hides. Just here. Hello. Oh, brutal. Um, and we're just going to work our way back through this area. Um, till we get to the dragon. Um, and there is a stairwell there. There's a stairwell just after where we fought the first boss. Um, there we go. Got to keep those parry skills sharp. Crown shield, noise. Right. There we go, there we go, there we go now. Two down. Noise. <laughs> and then we'll uh, pop up here. Thank you. Right. Now this bit, we're just gonna we're gonna save before we do this bit, um, just because if anything goes wrong, it would be really good to not have to start all over again, really. So, right, then this guy's gonna come up for us, is he? Yeah. Thankfully. New equipment is just that much better, right? So these guys are going to drop fire bombs on us, so I'm going to run forward through here, pop that shield up, and people try to. Right, is there anyone else? In there? there is. Right, we're going to walk sideways. Okay, we're going to. Target this person. Right, let's go. Oh, you just take too long. Right, okay, I think. Amazing treasure ahead. Right. Now, I don't think we can unlock this from this way, can we? No, it doesn't open from this side, so we need to go round to get the. Um... Oh, yeah, so you don't go back to the beginning, you go back to the last bonfire. So the last bonfire you rested at, which is not the beginning of the game, it's, um, so you basically have checkpoints and you go back to the beginning of the last checkpoint, which can be long because all of the enemies respawn. So all the enemies respawn, um, well, most of the enemies respawn. There's a few special enemies that don't respawn, um, but apart from those few, everything else respawns. Um, right, so now these fire enemies are up on the top here. Um, come on then. We are gonna get away from this and heal up because, oh boy, that was. But you see, even like low level enemies can really mess you up if you get the timing wrong. Um, so you kind of can't always let your guard down. I mean, obviously I'm playing a little bit more, like, these guys are not going to be the end of me. Oh, my word. Okay, so I got stuck there. As you can see, I'm gonna just crawl back up here and try that again. Oh boy, that was embarrassing, wasn't it? Right, here we go. Perfect. Right. Oh boy, the embarrassing hits are the worst in this game. 
I I did it. Well done, you. Right, so. <laughs> We're going to heal up again. So then we need to run up here because there are archers there who like to um, ruin your day. So we're going to pop up here. Well, not that way. Really. If you just ignore them. Take that. And then there are spearmen who when you do that bit, they then come for you here. Hello. Right, so. We'll bait them. Come on, come on. Go. Right, we're gonna get up behind you. Perfect. Right, I think that's all of that. And then. Down here is a black knight. They are notoriously tricky. Let's give it a go, shall we? Because if we can get a backstab on him, we'll be sorted. Right. Oh, look, he's not even facing me. Mm -mm. Let's give this a go, shall we? Let's give this a go. Come on. There we go. That is why you wreck them. Oh, those things are really hard if you don't get them. Man, ooh, blue tear stone ring. Nice. If you don't manage to get them, like, they can be a real pain. I would never have tried that if I wasn't, like, bloodborne confident now. Um, no, can't do anything with that. Um, what's down here? No, that's just a drop. Okay. Imagine that's to lead people to their doom if they try to hit and then run in a panic, not looking where they're going. It's all a clever ruse. Right, here we go. Now we do this bit, and then they push that down. Oh, normally there's something that they push down there. Maybe not this time. B-E-A, beautiful. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Yeah, clearly this bit is gone. Right. Okie dokie. Now, is it in here that there is a... Yeah, there's a down at the bottom. Right, let's just see if I can get the... Because in here there should be a creature in the barrels that I want to get. No? No, it's not in those. Maybe it's on the next floor up. There's a little lizard that you want to get. If you can find it. Imminent light. Okay. No, I might have spooked it. Oh yeah, no, I spooked it. It must have been on the. It must have been up here. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Right. So now, if I can. Let's get these guys so that they don't snipe me. Morning, Nate. How are you doing? It's good to have you with us. We are playing Dark Souls. And it's a great game. Tricky, but great. Right, there we go. I can just slide down here. You're doing great. Oh, I'm glad about that. Right, I'm going to... Oh, I want to have a go. Let's just see what we can do with Havel. If he gives us too much trouble, we run. That's the that's the way to do it. Now, yeah, I'm doing really good, thank you. I'm doing really good. Just being, um, just, yeah, I'm feeling... I'm just chilling, really. Just chilling. Feeling nice and relaxed. I'm enjoying this game. Got the new little stream mascot. Terry, the T-Rex. Okay, now let's have a look here, see. There we go, is he in here, this bit? No. 
Right, let's see. He's a real threat to us. Come on, Havel. Yeah, family are doing really good. Thanks, Nate. Oh, here we go. Oh, my word, he is coming quickly. Run. I panicked. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, my word, he just breaks your shield, doesn't he? Word. He is such a heavy hitter. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Right, let's come up here. Oh, he kills me in one hit. Oh boy.